Hi, you've reached Matthew's voicemail. I'm sorry I can't get to the phone right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hi, babe, it's me. Um, I'm just calling because I'm having a minor emergency. Nothing to worry about, but could you give me a call back when you get this? Uh, part went well. Okay, speak to you soon. Bye. sort of mind blanks where you'll suddenly come back to yourself and have absolutely no idea what you've been doing for the last 10 minutes or whatever. I used to do it all the time at school. I remember in maths GCSE suddenly realising I hadn't written anything for the last half an hour and having absolutely no idea what I'd been doing. I got an E. I was never particularly academic. I did my A-levels but there was never really any desire to go to university or anything like that. I just wasn't cut out for it. So I thought the next logical step would be to settle down. You know, become a housewife, taking care of kids all day. How hard can it be? And then I met a man, Matthew, and my plan seemed to be falling into place. He was good looking, good job, very intelligent, a bit intimidatingly so, if I'm honest. In hindsight, I think I might have rushed him a bit. You know, the whole marriage thing, but I couldn't really decide what else I wanted to do and it was such a catch, so I did it. I proposed and he said, yes, hooray. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure he wanted to. When I first asked, he was a bit reluctant and drunk, but once the wheels were in motion, there wasn't much he could do. Pretty sure he was stoned on our wedding day. He wasn't. <laughs> It was his idea, actually, the twins. Matthew's dad is really old. Oh, that's not true. Um, Matthew's dad was involved in a, an accident, a really, really terrible accident with a lawnmower, and he, he died. He's dead. But he was really old when he died, and Matthew was one of these people who was desperate to have kids young, didn't want to be like his father, blur, blur, blur. He was literally overjoyed when we found out they were twins. I remember the day of the scan. Actually, no, that's not true. I don't remember the day of the scan, but Matthew always tells the story. We were on the number 11 bus, which is shit. When we arrived, we were 15 minutes late and apparently I ran up to one of the nurses and I was like, I need to see my baby. It's not our fault we're late. Please let me see my child. It doesn't sound like something I'd say, but Matthew swears that's what happened. Apparently I cried when I saw them on the monitor. Tears of sheer joy. Like I said, I don't remember any of this. This is all Matthew's version of events, but I can't imagine why he'd lie. The birth was awful, awful, really, really horrible. I don't imagine anyone enjoys giving birth though, do they? I've never seen Matthew so happy, which was sweet. He kept pointing out ridiculous things like, look at their little toes. Oh yeah, smell their heads. Mmm, it was nice. And you would always be together now. We'd been married 11 months when we had them. Same amount of time as Princess Di when she had wills. That wasn't intentional. <laughs> but anyway, that's why I decided to name them William, after the heir to the throne, and Viola, after Gwyneth Paltrow's character in Shakespeare in Love, a cultured royalist. The worst thing she could be. It was mainly to try and impress Matthew, of course. Although, now I'm scared even the twins are more sophisticated than me. God, I sound like a mental. <laughs> We're having a big family do for them tomorrow, which will be nice. My sister's coming so we can nip out the front for cigarettes, old habits and all that. Matthew would kill me if he knew though. It's not fitting for the mother of his children to smoke. But anyway, today a few of us from the antenatal group got together. All the babies are around the same age, obviously. <laughs> and we took them out for lunch to a vegan cafe. Stuck up bitches. The hazards of living in North London, I suppose. I do get on with one of the girls though, Kate. We ended up finding a vegan wine. <laughs> Maybe the babies are still at the cafe. Maybe Kate's got them. I'll try his work phone. Hiya, is that Diane? Hiya, it's 
Laurie, is Matthew there? Oh, okay. Um, well, it is a minor emergency, so could you get him to give me a call back when he gets this? Okay, thanks, Diane. Speak soon. Bye. 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 <sighs> Damn it. I shouldn't be here chatting. I need to go and find him. <laughs> I'm not even completely sure that I love them. Sometimes I'll forget about them, they'll be asleep or whatever, and I'll hear a noise which sounds like someone crying. And for a couple of minutes I just listen because I have absolutely no idea what that sound is or what I should do. And then I decide to be brave and I get up from my seat and I stalk the house like a cat in case there's some kind of, you know, emotional intruder trying to burgle us. And I push open the door to the office, only to find that it's not an office, but a nursery. And that the emotional intruder isn't an intruder at all, but a little bald baby. Two little bald babies. And then I remember that they're mine. And I'm not just looking after them today, but tomorrow as well. And the next day, and the day after that, and possibly every day for the next 17 years. And that scares the living shit out of me. So I leave them to cry. And I close the door. And I wait for Matthew to get home, because he seems to know what to do. And he seems to like them, even love them. I don't seem anywhere near as scared as me that they'll be around forever. It's like I have two tiny little strangers who just happen to live in my house. This isn't the first time either. It's happened before. I left them in Sainsbury's, the one on the main road. I didn't even realise they were missing until the police were on the doorstep. They said, Mrs. Cole, and I was like, oh God, what is it? What's happened? Thinking something must have happened to Matthew or whatever. And they said, I believe these belong to you. I was like, no, am I not? Oh shit. I've done some awful things. This little old lady asked me their names the other day on the bus and I had absolutely no idea. I said Liam and Noel, even though one is clearly a girl. The little old lady looked at me like I was mad. Sometimes I won't strap them into their car seats, just leave them to roll around in the back. I dropped one. I forget which. In the lake, the one in the park, this man jumped in to rescue it, and when he gave it back to me, I just started laughing. I mean, obviously, I was worried, but I just could not stop laughing. I think it was the drama. Viola, or whatever, sinking to the bottom of the pond, and some man, probably thinking he was a hero, ripping his shirt off and diving in to rescue it. <laughs> Pond's only about two foot deep. There's really no need for the shirt. Matthew doesn't know about any of this. Although, apparently, I once told his mum I thought they were both ugly and would never get grandkids out of them. I don't remember this. The old witch has had it in for me from the beginning, but Matthew takes everything she says as gospel. He had a pretty big row about that one. He threatened to leave with the kids. This was two days after our first wedding anniversary. He's watched me like a hawk ever since. Well, maybe not like a hawk, because he wouldn't be in this position, but certainly like a cat or something. He told me last time I was on my last warning. He's so dramatic at times. <laughs> Matthew isn't going to be very happy about this. Matthew's not going to be very happy about this at all. Shit, it's Matthew. Hi, babe! called um because we don't have any olive oil and it's virtually impossible to cook without it and I wondered if you could pick some up on your way home oh sorry I didn't mean to worry you no the twins are fine great actually little tykes <laughs> okay we'll do oh you want me to do it now Okay, hold on a second. Mwah. Mwah. Huh. Say bye bye to daddy. Bye bye daddy. Bye bye daddy, come on. Say bye bye to daddy. Bye bye. Bye bye, yeah, they're not very talkative at the moment. <sighs> Do you know how long you'll be? Oh, you're on your way. Great. <sighs> okay. Well, I'll see you in a bit then. Okay. Love you. Bye. 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 Shit. 
I need to call the police, don't I? Oh God, what if I'm arrested? Am I breaking the law? If Matthew gets home and there are police cars everywhere, I can't even... But then maybe they'll find them. And Matthew will get home and the twins will be playing happily for once. I could even buy them a new toy. Just to let him know that I love them. Right. I'm calling them. Okay. Here goes. Oh shit, what do I say? They're probably at that vegan cafe still, aren't they? Or maybe Kate is on her way over here with them right now. As long as she gets here before Matthew does. Or the police.